What's up guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. If this is your first time at my channel, thank you for coming in to check out the video or coming in to check out the entire channel. Whatever you are here for, I appreciate it. So thank you. So today guys, I want to show you this neat little trick that I learned. And it's one of them things that actually has kind of, in the back of my mind, it not really bothered me, but kind of made me wonder for a while. And I'm sure that most of you have maybe thought this at one point, but let me show you what I'm talking about here. I have this folder here open with some miscellaneous documents here. Um, we've all seen to where if you right click this and go to send to, it usually, and I've cleaned this up and I will show you how to clean this up. Usually you'll have, you know, multiple things in there that you just do not use. Um, there's usually like, it'll want to send it to, like I use TeamViewer, it'll want to send it to TeamViewer, it'll want to send to email, want to send to fax, that kind of stuff. Um, so I've actually, I kind of send things uh, through email differently. Um, so I removed that. Um, I removed the fax thing because it's not 1985 and nobody uses a fax anymore. Um, and they even had a documents to send documents just to your regular documents folder. I handle that a whole different way, so I didn't need those, so I got rid of those. Um, but point is, I'm going to show you guys how to remove things from here today um, and how to add things uh, here. So here's what you do, guys, and it's, it's actually very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave this open, and I'm going to open up another file explorer window. And bonus tip for you guys, I will show you how to do this easily. Some may know this. I keep an icon for my file explorer down here. All you have to do is hover above that and click your middle scroll wheel on your mouse and it opens up a new file explorer window. So you learn something new free of charge guys. Okay. So in your file explorer window, all you do is go in here and you type shell colon and you see it in the history here cause I was messing with it, but it's shell colon and send to, and then you will hit enter. Now, when you hit enter, you will see, that what is right here, these three items, is what matches when you go to send to, because that is basically the shortcut to this. Now, the I will show you how to add things to this real quick. That way I can also show you how to take things away. So in order to add things to your send to menu, it's super simple, guys. All you have to do is right click, and you're gonna do a new shortcut, um, and then you're gonna browse. For me, I'm going to link this to and give it a shortcut to a folder on another internal drive, which is my E drive. So I'm going to go there, E drive, and this is the folder here, random documents. So you just click on that and hit OK. It's going to show the path of that, its location. You go next, and I'm just going to leave it named random documents. And then we're going to finish. So as you see, that shortcut has appeared here. Now, let me show you, there's nothing in it before I show you this next thing. It's empty. Now, if we go back here, if we right click and go to send to, you now see that random documents shortcut has appeared in your send to folder. So that's how you add things to the send to. Now you can do a shortcut or you can actually right click and drag a folder into there and then click create shortcut. You can do it that quick too, but it's pretty easy to add. Now let me show you that that works. We're just gonna, actually let's do all three here. We're gonna highlight all three, right click, send to, and random documents. Now you will notice they do not disappear from here. So those documents or whatever you're sending to whatever folder will stay in its original location. It basically just makes a copy of it in here. Um, so if you want to delete these later, you'll have to do that. Uh, but as you guys can see, if I double click in here, you now see all those documents and it did work to send it to that. Now we taught you how to add. So now is the tutorial on how to take one away. So again, if you're looking here, send to, say for instance, that's the one that you do not want in there. Again, just uh, shell colon send to in your bar up here. Super simple guys, right click, hit delete, it's gone. And if you go here, right click, send to, 
as you can see that shortcut is no longer in there so again guys i know it's a super short super quick video it's just something that i wanted to show you because i've actually had people ask me this in the past and i just didn't know um and i always thought well i'm going to try to figure it out but i kind of stumbled upon this recently so i just wanted to put that out there for you guys anyway guys if this helped you out if you like this consider giving me a like and if you are not a subscriber and would like to be click that subscribe button down there and hit that bell icon so you are notified each time that i post later guys